All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Look, I'm already starting off kind of giddy here. Uh, this is my post-market wrap-up, and it's going to be a good one. So uh, sit down, relax, and I'm going to try to stay calm. I really am, I promise you, I promise you. Let's start off with the markets. Nice rally on Wall Street today. Uh, stocks finished higher across the board. But, but the story, again, was the bond market. Uh, here we go. We had another 2 to 10 yield curve inversion today. And uh, I am sure Peter Navarro is not pleased. You remember he said, we didn't have an inversion. Yeah, we had another one today. However, it didn't last very long. It, we inverted, we came back. But I can promise you that a deep inversion is coming. We cannot stop, they cannot stop the longer end of the yield curve from dropping. I've explained this to you, which seems to be since time immemorial. And all the calls for rate cuts, for which the president did again on live TV. Today again, the president came out explaining that we need a 1% rate cut. The economy has to have it. The Federal Reserve is behind the curve. I mean, come on. Uh, and I can promise you this, and we're going to cover this deeper, negative rates are coming here to the United States. But before we get move forward, I want to give credit where credit is due. For the first time since the trade war began with China, the President of the United States admitted, he admitted this, and if you want to see it for yourself, so you can at least maybe, I don't know, gain a little respect for the man, um, he... He admitted that um, the potential is there for the U.S. economy to take a hit because of the uh, China trade war. Now look, you all know me, and I say this all the time. Every moment of your life is yet another minute to turn it all around. And this is the first time the president has backed off of the lie. So I do believe that credit is, should be given to the man. And I understand it's been going on for a long time. But, you know, at least he finally came clean. He is still holding on to the, the epic lie, even bigger, that we're taking in hundreds of billions from China. The math could not be more simple. The trade gap, the trade deficit is $180 billion. We're taking in $60 billion in the tariffs. Do the math. We're losing $120 billion on this deal. All right? It's pathetic. When he decides to come clean on that one, I will do cartwheels around this room on camera for you. Really, I'll do them naked. How's that? <laughs> oh my God. That would be pretty interesting, don't you think? Naked cartwheels around the room. If the president admits uh, that we're losing hundreds of billions uh, to China right now, uh, no, he won't admit that. So I, I, do, I can keep my clothes on, and I'm sure most of you Probably all of you are happy that I will not be doing naked cartwheels around the room. All right, uh, let's move forward here. Um, you know, I want to get these next two things exactly right, so I'm going to read them to you. IMF warns. So let's talk about that. Here we go. How many of you recall me explaining to you that um, we are going to see... In fact, it was the title of one of my videos, Mass Currency Devaluation is Coming. Well, today... The IMF, this is, this is from them right here. The IMF is stating currency devaluations will not fix a country's economic problems. Look, the IMF realizes what's coming to America uh, and to other nations around the world. And who's going to pay for it? Of course, the middle class is. The middle class is always the butt end of the joke. It's the truth, always. It's never going to stop. And I can't imagine how... Um, any world leader would be able to explain to the people how devaluing their currency, taking away its purchasing power, is good for them. I've still, I'm still waiting for the president to explain how he believes that uh, cutting rates drastically is going to help as well. Now, this is from the president today with regard to the German uh, Boon auction. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. Because this is the future of America. Number one, mass currency devaluation. IMF warning about it. Number two, negative rates. Now, I know most of you are aware of this, but let me read this to you. This is incredible. President Trump tweeted praise, I'm reading this verbatim, for Germany as its sale of no interest bonds on Wednesday, today. Germany's 30-year auction for the first time ever 
is, is yielding a negative rate, negative 0 0.11. Could you imagine a sitting president? I mean, this probably isn't going to get much coverage, uh, although it is here. Um, praising, an, uh, praising this? I'll read it again. President Trump tweeted praise for Germany in its sale of no interest bonds. This is coming to America, and I want you to understand that. Um, again, the middle class is going to be the, is the butt end of the joke. Being robbed blind, beyond blind. Actually, if, if we go actually do go negative, right now understand. We have a negative yielding debt because it's yielding less than the actual rate of inflation. But if rates will actually go negative, that means whatever cash you have in the bank, the, the bank will start to siphon it, siphon little pieces of it. Uh, as it's sitting in there, it's not going to gain anything. It's not gaining anything now. You're losing purchasing power by keeping your cash in any kind of an interest earning account. <laughs> or, 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 of course, a non interest earning account is even worse. But negative interest rates for you, and it's coming unless you open your mouth, uh, and that won't even help either because the plan is very simple. Uh, we'll cover that a little deeper. But negative rates are coming. We have the President of the United States, a sitting U.S. President, for the first time in history, praising. Uh, negative rates which are occurring uh, in Germany and I can promise you that the German people are not happy. Um, the German middle class is not happy. I guess if you're a billionaire it doesn't matter to you but we're all rich. You remember the president said that too. It's insane. Um, let's talk about a couple of other things that are coming here um, so we can get a better understanding of it. The president said again today that he has to do something for Apple. He must do something for Apple. Now, I did a whole entire video about this. Apple is too big to tariff. Um, the president made it clear today on live TV that him and uh, the CEO of Apple are close. They talk all the time. And again, he has to do something for Apple. I thought he was working for you, the American people. I didn't realize that he's working for Apple as well, a private company. So he's actually, you think about it, the president is picking winners here. But the issue with Apple is much bigger than that. Um, if you if you watch the price action of the tech sector today, there is going to be more too big to tariffs here, uh, and the tech sector is going to get a nice boost. Understand that the tech sector drives a lot of this market. There's no doubt about it. So the fact that the president is picking winners, and you can't if tell me where I'm wrong because I know I'm going to get beat up for this. How is the president not picking? being a stock picker right now, he's in, he admitted today, I must help Apple. Why must he help Apple? I thought the president was out to help you. Um, but I guess I'm deluded. Maybe I'm wrong. Please clarify this for me, some of you out here. And for those of that are in the delusional state, and you know who they are, or who you are, you specifically explain to me where I got this wrong. So, so I think me and my followers can frankly laugh at you, <laughs> and I promise you that I will. Um, I could use a chuckle, so please feel free. Uh, all right, so um, let's summarize just real quick. Okay, today, nice rally on Wall Street. No surprise to you. You knew it was coming. Um, we did have yet another 2 to 10 yield curve inversion. It's going to get deeper. They cannot prevent the longer end of the curve from dropping, no matter how much the president calls for rate cuts, any amount. Mr. President... Please understand what I'm explaining to you right here and right now. You can beg the Fed to cut anything, 5% in the, in the federal funds rate, bringing us deep, deep, deep into the negative, for which, again, you just praised Germany for their auction of no interest bonds. Keep that in mind, everybody. Um, so the president can do that. So here we have a yield curve. Right now, it's a, it, we have the federal funds rate here, and we have the 30-year yielding less. Okay, so we, we obviously have an inversion here. The 2 to 10 sitting in the middle did invert today. Now, let's say, for example, the president gets his wish. A, let's say a 5% cut comes. 5%, let's go crazy. Boom. Okay, we have a normal yield curve for just a little while. We're negative. The American people are being robbed blind at this point. You're paying to have your cash in these institutions, for which I, I screamed from rooftops yesterday, get your cash out of the investment banks. But let's talk about this. So now we have a 5% cut in the federal funds rate, which is astro-freaking nominal. It'll never happen, but I want to explain this to you visually. So now you have a normal yield curve. This can't stop. This can't stop. This will drop, 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 drop. Then what do we do? Drop 10%? You see, where we're, we're, cut, we're caught in a vicious loop. A very vicious loop. And every single time you hear the president 
Peter Navarro, because this is Navarro's policy. Understand, the imbecile Navarro, his policy of being parroted by the president. What that makes him, you decide. Um, so right now we're stuck in this vicious loop, which we all knew was coming. They can't stop. They will inflate. They will inflate to the highest order. So understand, this is why our president is calling for not just extreme rate cuts, but quantitative easing. Um, dollar devaluation, for which the IMF is warning. It's warning about. How is this good for you? Um, you know, anyway. So I think this is kind of important. Understand where we're going with the too big to tariffs. Understand, and, and I think, look, if you have the guts to do this, I will really praise you for it. Go to the president's, uh, you know, at real Donald Trump and ask him why he feels that he needs to help Apple. Why does he need to help Apple here? Um, and does he work for Apple or does he work for you? I think these are legitimate questions. Um, and with regard to America, America, America's future is very, very, very bleak. We are going to get mass currency devaluation and negative interest rates. Um, this is going to literally put the final nail in the middle class. And that move to a two-tier society um, is going to play out exactly like I've explained to you since time immemorial. We don't have a middle class anymore. Middle class... Um, is in debt beyond anything we've ever seen. I'm not making this up. Household debt and consumer debt are at record highs. Margin debt, again, the amount of cash people have borrowed to participate in the market is also at record highs. One in four Americans are borrowing from their credit cards just to make ends meet. But meanwhile, if you were to watch the CEOs of corporations that they parade out and the CEOs of banks, one major bank today, Moynihan, CEO, uh, explaining um, how the consumer is very strong. Well, the consumer is buried in debt, buried in debt. And at one point, we're going to start to see defaults here, especially when currency devaluation comes that have to reach deeper in their pocket to make ends meet. Negative interest rates having to pay these banks. Imagine that. It's coming. It, it's already happening in other parts of the world, Germany. Uh, you, you know, it's happening in other parts of the world. Do you think we're immune? Do you really think we're immune? And I'm going to tell you something that bothers me a little bit more right here and now. To hear, and again, I gave the president credit early, so I want you to imagine. I did give the president credit for when he admitted that we have the potential here in the United States to uh, take an economic hit because of the trade war. Bravo to you, Mr. President, but explain to me. Uh, you work for me, Mr. President. You work for all of us, Mr. President. Um, why do you need to protect Apple? This bothers me. Why do you need to do something? His words, do something for Apple. Um, shouldn't you really be concerned about doing something for us here? Is, 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 is what you said today with regard to the, uh, the German Bund auction, praising it, uh, that they're in the negative? And I can promise you that the German people must think you're a laughing stock. Um, because I think it's your laughing stock if you're going to bring this to America. And I know it's coming. We all know it's coming. You've got to be brain dead to not know it. Um, and explain to us all how you feel about the yield curve. If you really believe that even a 5% cut to the federal funds rate would do it. We can't grow out of this, Mr. President. I think now that you've come clean on one lie, it's time to come clean on all of them. With that said... I really do love all of you people, honestly, from my heart. And I am going to ask you to share this video. Let's get it out there. Ponder these things. Uh, and let me know what you think about what I've covered here. It's important. I'm out of here. Uh, I'm going to go eat something. I'm hungry.